What is going on Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. In today's video, I got two things I want to get into. The first is something that a specific Jets draft crowd is getting totally wrong. And the second is roster rankings came out before the NFL draft and the Jets are pretty high up on the list. Something that's bothered me just for months at this point now has been how the discussion around what the Jets should do in the first round is. It's become way too toxic, similar to other conversations from Jets Twitter and in Jets land over the last few years. This one, the Jets, there really shouldn't be a wrong answer. Like, you guys watch, you know I lean offensive line, but if the Jets take Brock Bowers, who's this really unique player that's going to help their offense, am I going to be upset on Thursday? No. If the Jets take a wide receiver to help build out a room that, really has some question marks outside of Garrett Wilson. Am I going to be upset about that? No. Do they still need depth on the offensive line? Of course. Of course they do. But none of those three routes, Brock Bowers, offensive line, or wide receivers, are a bad way for the Jets to go. Over the last few days, the stories that have come out make it seem like the Jets are going to go with a weapon in the first round, which is fine, but more specifically, a wide receiver even over Brock Bowers. And anytime I've mocked like Roma Dunze or someone like that to the Jets, the, the thing that I get back is, well, how many teams win Super Bowls with two first round picks at wide receiver? And they're most often pointing back to the Kansas City Chiefs and be like, look at their wide receiver core. And they are the, the champions of the last two seasons. Not really a fair comparison. The Chiefs have by far the best quarterback in the league. He is able to elevate that offense to a completely different level because he is so much better than everyone else. You can't just look at the Kansas City and be like, oh, well, they win all the time. Well, they have the best quarterback. And I'm not saying that Aaron Rodgers is a bad quarterback or that there aren't any other good quarterbacks in the league, but when making up a roster, it's important to have not only a good offensive line, but also good weapons and adding another receiver to this receiver room would help the Jets get closer to having a really good weaponry for Aaron Rodgers. The look at the Chiefs wide receiver core logic is also flawed because if you flip that back to look at the Chiefs offensive line, which a lot of times the people who bring up the you can't take a first rounder because look at all, you know, how many teams with two first round picks win Super Bowl. The Chiefs haven't had a starter on their offensive line over the last two years who's a first round pick. They spent some big money in free agency to bring some guys in, but they hit on mid-round picks as well. And you need a little bit of both in order for those things to, to work. Let's take a look at the Philadelphia Eagles who just went to a Super Bowl uh, two years ago or two seasons ago and have one of the best rosters in the NFL. They have Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown. Those are two receivers who were taken in the first round. A.J. Brown was acquired via trade, but they gave up a first-round pick for him, so you essentially spent two first-round picks on wide receiver. And guess what? It's worked out incredible. They have an amazing team. They have a great roster. They're one of the best rosters in the NFL. San Francisco 49ers, they have two great wide receivers. One of them's a first-round pick. The other wasn't. Debo wasn't a first-round pick, but they have two great receivers in your own division. Miami Dolphins, I know that you know come playoff time, they haven't been able to get over the hump, but they're really good offense, and they thrive because they have two really good wide receivers. And they traded a first-round pick for one of them and used the first-round pick for the other. So it's not, that's, that, that's not a good example, unfortunately. It's just not. When you're 32nd in the NFL in offense, which the Jets were last year, offensive DVOA, they were 32. Defensive DVOA, they were 3. You have to overcompensate a little bit. And I get it. Like, Aaron Rodgers is coming back major upgrade on the uh, at the quarterback spot. But it can't just all be Aaron Rodgers save us. You can't go 32 to a top offense in the league by just going, "All right, Aaron, you figure it out." They they need to get him help. And it's okay if they get him help by the offensive line, and it's also okay if they get him help either with Brock Bowers or a weapon at wide receiver. There are multiple good ways the Jets could go in the first round. And I just can't stand how people like they find their stance and it's like, okay, that's it. Like I can't, I won't even hear the argument for the other side because it's so ridiculous. That, that's, that's crazy. It doesn't have to be that you know black and white. There's a lot of gray area in this. 
And it's okay to talk through those things. And you could still come away with, hey, I want offensive line because X, Y, and Z. But I could see why adding a wide receiver, I could see why adding Brock Bowers would be exciting for this offense. Or you can go, hey, I really want a weapon, but man, I get it. I understand why they want another offensive lineman. Have you seen the amount of injuries they've had on the offensive line? But no, that that can't be what it is. There's no logic or thought out in these conversations. It's I'm gonna I'm it's two sides. We're just gonna scream at each other. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be over. Two more days. Hopefully, uh, a big portion of Jeff fans are not all because it's just impossible. But hopefully, a lot of people are happy on Thursday. Okay, the second thing that I wanted to get into, Mike Clay of ESPN, he puts out his roster rankings and he did his most recent one pre-draft. And the New York Jets, according to Mike Clay have the second best roster in the NFL. He has the Jets offense coming in at number two and defensively number five. He's lower on tight end, interior defensive line and safety, high marks everywhere else on the roster. I think he's a touch too low on tight end, uh, but I will say interior defensive line and safety are two spots the Jets could absolutely use more depth on. The starters on the offensive line are very, very good. I worry about some depth there as well. And wide receiver and running back, I think, are being carried by Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall. But do you believe that? Like, do you think the Jets, when it's all said and done, are going to end up with the number two offense and number two de- and a number five defense in the league? I don't know. I think, is it likely for them to have a top five defense again this upcoming season? Yeah, I do. I really do. Even if there's some regression, I think they have the talent to where they're going to be one of the league's best units for a third season in a row. Offensively, I think it's asking a lot to get up that high. That's not to say that Aaron Rodgers isn't good, that they don't have nice weapons in Garrett Wilson, Brees Hall, and potentially pick number 10. But I would sign up for, I don't know, a top 12 offense. If the Jets are 12 plus in offense and top five in defense again and have a really good special teams unit again, which they had last year, I think the Jets are going to win a lot of games that way. I think they'll probably win 10 or 11 games that way and will be relevant in their division and be relevant in the AFC. Anything better than that, I will sign up for offensively, but I don't know if I think the Jets are going to end up with a top five offense. Maybe it's just because my brain can't compute that. I have no idea what a top five offense from my favorite team would look like because I'm used to offenses that rank like 28th, 30th, 32, you know, and just horrific quarterback play. But man, I would sign up for right around the top 10 offense and elite level defense. Hell yeah, sign me up for that. But anyway, drop your thoughts in the comments on either the NFL draft or the Jets roster rankings. And if you think that was fair, let me know. I'm Matt. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys next time.